All right, what's up, y'all? It's 202 Wink, your favorite help desk tech. And let's get in let's get in straight to it. No, let's get straight into it though. How to fix computers the easy way. The easiest way to fix computers. The most simple way to fix a computer. Easy fix for computers. However you want to say it, man. That's this. And the easiest way to do it is by what? A simple restart, reboot, turn off and back on. For real though, like I've told users to do that plenty of times and to fix the issue. One, because people seem to like just shut their computer straight down, period. And now you're stopping updates from coming. So now when you walk in, I mean not walk in, but now when you sign into the computer and it's coming on, you're turning it on from a shutdown, it's constantly restarting and rebooting because it's trying to catch up on those updates. Trust me, I see it all the time. I try to tell people as much as I can. Do not shut your computer all the way down whatever, whatever, but tell, telling somebody to turn their computer on and off usually fixes the problem. I don't care what it be most of the time. The computer, the uh, the keyboard's not working, turn that joint on and off. The screen not working, turn that joint on and off. Like, for real. And then sometimes, uh, we got these new monitors now that you got to turn up, like, press the power button on the monitor whether the computer on or not. I don't understand that. But always, like, for just rebooting it, it just helps. It's like, nine, I'm going to give y'all like nine reasons to restart your computer or whatever. But yeah, and also, um, some users, some, some end users will lie. I know y'all know that. I'm sorry, but they will lie and say that they did something. It, people have a thing where they want you to do a certain thing the way that they want you to do it. And they will try to lie and manipulate you to do it the way they want to. When, you, when they should just be letting you do your job and fixing it the way you know how. Because now I'm talking to 10, they're not going to understand anyway. But for example, um, a user was having issues. I'm like, yeah, just restart it. Or oh, already tried that. That don't work. Already did that. Okay, well, I'll come up and I'll do it. And I restarted and it fixed it. I'm like, oh, I didn't do that when I did it. It's because you never did it, son. It's because you never did it and you wanted me to come up there. And you know what I'm saying? You wanted me to come up there because whatever. whatever. People also have that thing. Because I work like through a certain software so I can see user screens. And some users be like real adamant about having you to want wanting you to come up there. And it's like, you shouldn't really have to do that if you don't have, you shouldn't do, you shouldn't do it if you don't have to. But you just think like, oh no, I want you to come up here. No, sorry, but we're practicing working from here and using this software. But that's another story for another time. The point is you turn it off and you turn it back on and then it fixes it. Let's get into these nine top reasons for restarting your computer. And I may or not read the like big paragraphs that come with it. I'll probably leave y'all the link. If anything, but regularly, uh, but um, regularly, dang, I hate that word. Regularly, regularly performing restarts on your computer helps it run smoother. Okay, computers are like humans in this way. Too much input, and something starts to get stressed. The memory on a computer is not infinite. The constant opening and closing of application eats up RAM, while uh, uh, while unused RAM is supposed to uh, you know return to be available for use it's not a perfect science but yeah whatever whatever like i said when i tell users uh don't shut your computer all the way down because once you do and it starts back up what's it going to do start sending those updates so yeah restarts uh helps resolve peripheral and hardware issues your computer is your computer is not only working to make available uh your applications, but it also must track temperature, key uh, strokes, and all this and that, whatever. I'm not about to be reading all those paragraphs. That's just doing too much. So, boom. It helps uh, peripheral hardware issues. Turning off your computer on a regular basis is also re recommended. Okay, see? So, I think I just almost contradicted myself slightly. I don't know. If you're going to turn it off, yeah, turn it on. Man, re I restart my computer when I come into work all the time, and it's already on. I just pr press restart. Okay. Um... So turning off your computer is the real meaning of is the real meaning behind a reboot. A restart will power off the computer, but it will provide all the benefits discussed. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, it saves you time. Let's see. Okay, it saves you time. Like I said, you'll probably be starting it. If you leave the computer on have a long and then go back and try to open up something, it'll probably open up a little slower than a restart, I'm assuming. I'm like I said, I'm gonna just probably leave you out a link. I'm just trying to tell y'all, like, the point is, I've rebooted so many computers, and that fixed the problem, whether 
uh, a draft was missing, whether uh, things was just slow or whatever. Internet connectivity, network connectivity is very dependent on a stable connection. Traffic is always being checked and the sensitivity to a slow computer and other settings can cause delays in accessing resources, whatever, whatever, whatever. So a regular restart of your own system will refresh the network settings. And yeah, sleep mode is not a restart, period. Again, sleep mode is not a restart, period. Again, sleep mode is not a restart, period. And that's about it. And then the last one says it, uh, it saves your work. If your computer <sighs> is behaving sluggish, freezes from time to time, blank windows shows up, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You should turn off the computer, restart it, or call IT. So that's the main thing of this video, y'all. If you're having a little issue, you're like, dang, I don't know why this happened. Restart that junk. Like, comment, subscribe, share.